team of volunteers came to North Long Lake revved up for battle. We're trying to move that bog monster. Bill Smith knows. <laughs> Mother Nature laughs at man's effort to control her, but he was among many volunteers who donated equipment to help reclaim the beach at the Legionville School Safety Patrol Camp. One of the parts of the safety training, in addition to road cross, is school bus safety and water safety. They began by telling this bully to buzz off. We're trying to give it an initial shove. But the bog barely budged. I think we've probably got it to move about three feet so far. That's nothing compared to the trip it's been on. Satellite images show where it used to connect to the North Long Lake shore. But last fall, record high water and wind freed it up to gobble up docks all the way across the lake. It then floated back across and later froze into place near where it began. Yeah. Almost came back home. Yeah. <laughs> Missed it by this much. Just, just kind of wedged in there. Efforts to dredge and unwedge were waterlogged, and when they turned to cables, opened it up and oh, broke it. Yeah, opened it right on up. It snapped back. It used to be a curb yeah. curving. The DNR said dynamite was off limits. But it wouldn't do anything anyway. You just make a mess out of it. You just blow holes in the bottom of the lake. But you know what to say? Plans change. You have a really long pipe. They eventually did find back. success pushing a pipe beneath this behemoth in order to lasso it with a tow cable that eventually sliced it in half, but even half was too much for the boats. It's kicked our butt. Um, let's just be honest here. We never thought we'd have this much trouble. The plan now is to keep cutting it down until they can tow it back and put this beast on a leash. We'll tie it to a tree so it doesn't leave again. Kent Erdahl, CARE 11 News. Wow, <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> well, Lou, tonight the National Weather Service now says at least